you know, I think um, both ends of the court, we're going to have to be a lot better. Um, you know, credit to Boston, um, you know, individually and collectively. They played well today. We didn't. So uh, between now and Tuesday, we'll look at the film, find ways where we can get better defensively, get better offensively, and uh, look forward to being better on Tuesday. Eric named the athletic, but uh, how do you try to get Giannis loose? Uh, obviously, he had a rough go of it tonight. How do you try to get him loose going into game two? Well, I mean, you know, Giannis, as great as he's been this year, um, you know, he hasn't been perfect every night. Um, he's hard on himself, so there's probably some point I'm just going to put my arms around him and tell him, you're going to be great. Um, he's He's been so good so many nights. Um, and, you know, I think, again, credit to Boston. They're doing some things well. Um, but I think, you know, Giannis will play better and, um, you know, we'll work. We'll look at some things between now and Tuesday. And, um, you know, I'm sure he's looking forward to Tuesday just like we are. Kane Pittman with a pick and roll. Uh, early in the game, it sort of dug yourself a bit of a hole where the Celtics could get on top of you. Uh, when you look at the shooting numbers, obviously it's not pretty. But did you like what you saw from offense early in terms of the shots you were getting? Or what did you see to start the game? Uh, a little bit of both. Um, you know, there's times when um, the offense was, you know, not producing the kind of shots and opportunities that you'd like. Um, and then there were, you know, just like in any game, you know, you, when you get a good look, you get open opportunities, um, you kind of need to capitalize on them. And we didn't do a good enough job of making open shots. And, um, and then there were probably too many possessions where we didn't generate really good shots. In the second half especially, were there points where you thought the guys weren't taking open shots, they were hesitating and, and not really get, you know, just taking the shots that you would want them to take? Um, you know, there may, just like anything, there may be a, a couple examples. Obviously, we got called for a couple of travels where we pump faked. And, um, you know, generally speaking, you know, all year we've been telling them to let it fly and shoot it. And um, this series isn't any different. Um, there's probably more of an emphasis on you got to take open shots. You got to really... Uh, let it fly, but it didn't stand out to me the second half that we were, you know, hesitant or, or not shooting it when we were open. We've talked all season about when Bledsoe's great, you guys are great. Obviously, tonight he plays just 25 minutes. What do you see from him and uh, I guess maybe his struggles tonight? Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he was close to just his normal rotations and it's a 20 point game. We We didn't go back to him to finish. So, um, you know, he, I thought he, you know, attacked, he created some open threes for us. Uh, you know, they're coming late on our drives. And again, I thought he created a couple open threes or several, got to the free throw line some. So, um, you know, I think again, he, he makes one or two of his open threes and maybe that opens things up for him more, for us more. Um, but, you know, I think he, he'll be looking forward to Tuesday, just like the rest of us. Uh, Tom Oates, Wisconsin State Journal. Uh, this isn't the kind of you haven't had very many of these kinds of losses this year. What do you expect to be the kind of the key key things in, in recovering from this and getting over it and getting on? Well, I think the biggest thing, you know, um, our group's character has always shown uh, this year. Whenever we haven't played well or we've come off a loss, um, the response has always been very good. Um, so we expect the same thing: um, the competitiveness of our group, the character of the group. Uh, this is when it's tested. This is when it shows. John Corrales, MassLive.com. Defensively, what did you see, especially when the Celtics were getting a lot of those cuts uh, off of their spacing? Yeah, there was a couple times where, you know, I think, one, we probably overshifted, lost sight of our man. Um, they moved well without the ball. Um, you know, a lot of tension on their pick and rolls with Irving and Horford. So, um, you know, I, I think, you know, like there was a couple of them, but um, generally I don't think that was our issue tonight. What did you think about Al Horford's impact on today's game? Yeah, I thought Al was good. You know, just like with everything else they did, it started with his defense. Um, you know, he was, I think, pretty disciplined and showing his hands and being physical. But, you know, um, we didn't get very many calls on drives. Uh, so defensively, he was good. He made enough shots offensively, um, facilitates as a passer. Um, generally, you know, they, they played well, including Al. I think the entire week we talked about the pick and pop, and obviously you saw a lot of it. How do you feel like you guys defended and adjusted to it as the game went on? Yeah, you know, we'll obviously look at it a lot in the film and uh, just see, you know, how much it hurt us, how many they're getting to, um, what we need to do differently, if anything. And, um, you know, that'll be um, just like it was an emphasis coming into game one, it'll be an emphasis going into game two. 
Uh, there was a lot of talk about the rotation before the game, and I think sort of as you said, the minutes were sort of as they had been across the board. Is Tony Snell a guy? I know that you know the injury was obviously unfortunate timing, but he, is he a guy that maybe you know works his way into this rotation? Um, you know, we certainly have a lot of confidence in Tony. You know, it's great that I think he he is getting you know stronger and healthier, but. Um, you know, we'll look at the film and we'll see if we need to change the rotations. That's not what pops to the top of, you know, our list of probably things that we need to do better.